Hi there, and welcome to this month's Optimize Press teardown video where we take a landing page, this time from Shopify, the shopping cart platform, and we're gonna build that same page using Optimize Press and all the elements that we have available to us. So let's look at the landing page. Here it is on the screen. This is the free trial page that Shopify have. Um, this, this page has actually changed since we grabbed this screenshot. Um, they obviously tested it quite a lot. Um, it's also very similar to one of their older home pages they used on their entire site. You can look at that further down this article. But this page itself is a beautiful page. For those of you who don't know, Shopify is a e-commerce shopping cart platform. Okay, So for people who want to run their own online store or shop, you can use Shopify. It's one of the best platforms out there. And it's, as they've said here, it's used by 175,000 plus businesses. Okay, So there's a lot of people using Shopify, lots of apps and things you can plug on the side of it. And I think overall their carts or Shopify carts have currently processed more than $10 billion since they've been running, okay? So that's a lot of revenue. Um, so they know what they're doing. Their sites are actually super fast. And you know, their platform that runs on you know, their websites are very quick. Their shopping carts are nice and easy. They're mobile friendly. Hundreds of themes out there for them, and it's actually a super platform. If you haven't used it, or if you know people who are maybe running a shopping cart platform, definitely recommend them Shopify. Give it a try. Try it out. You know, it's a super, super quick platform and very easy to use. And they are continually evolving it and making it better, adding features, putting in new payment systems. They've now obviously now got their own Shopify payment, which sort of runs, I think it's similar to Stripe, but I don't know the ins and outs. But it's amazing, you know, and they're constantly changing out the platform on the inside, the admin panel, you know, and they're doing some great content stuff out there to help other people run their stores. So if you are interested in running your own website or your own store, do check out Shopify, um, Shopify and go and check out their blog as well. They've got some excellent information on there to help people get started with a shop. So this landing page itself this is the page we sort of took our inspiration from. We've modeled it similar to this. You can see here they've got a nice small logo at the top, nice and tiny, bit of brand recognition up there. They've got the headline across here, and this is just a perfect headline. It just simply says, create your store today. Okay, so that is an instant value proposition they've put there, and you know what you can do from this page. You can create your store. It's simply, this page alone has just one call to action. It could say two, there's one to watch the video, but it's literally putting your email, a password, your store name, and you can create your store. Okay, so literally three forms, click the button, and you can create your own online store. That's how simple this free trial page is. Um, I'd love to know their conversions, what it converts like. be very interested to know. Maybe we'll have to get Shopify on the phone and ask them one day. But the page itself, um, some super simple bullet points down the left using some powerful words. You notice they've got here like easy, you know, it's easy to use the online store, fully customizable, you know, it's making people know they can change everything in it. Secure, you know, so they're PCI compliant, they're very secure shopping cart. Uh, pricing as low as 14. Notice how they've worded that, pricing as low as $14 a month and 70, 175,000 plus stores run on Shopify. And they've also got over here on the right some nice icons or the logos from the publications that they've been featured in. And what I actually quite like about this, they don't say featured in or as seen in or even used by. They've just put these logos here and they're instantly recognizable brands, you know, worldwide brands that people will instantly associate with Shopify. So it's very cleverly done. And they're not saying we've been featured in and they're not saying we've been used by, but they're just nicely positioned under that video you know, so a bit of authority from the authority brand showing on this page. The video itself, you can open up a little tour of Shopify and how it all works. Going further down, they then included their free trial form. It's very simple, like I said, uh, three fields to fill out and then you can create your store. And if you notice this page itself, the only mix of color they've got here is actually the video and the still image you can see here. And then the other color they've got is the green button they've used, which is obviously matching similar to their green logo. So the call to action button stands out on this darker background. It stands out really well. Another thing I do like is the little login link at the bottom. So if an existing customer landed on this free trial page and they were a bit lost or they needed to get somewhere, and in most cases they probably want to log in if they're going to their site, so they would click on the login link, you know, and they could go through to their own store. So they've just put that subtly at the bottom there just to direct their existing customers where they might want to log into their site. So the page itself is very simple, it's very clean, it obviously does a lot of testing for them, they obviously change it, they've got a nice faded background image here, 
And I'm going to show you our page that we've built. And this page is called Arrived. And you can see it here. So it's a very similar layout. We've switched up the video on the left and we put our bullet points on the right. We've used, again, a nice faded image on the back here. We show further down this post how you can change that transparent. We've put a line across our logos across the bottom here. And then we've added in this little animated arrow pointing down to our overlay optimizer, which click on it. We open up the email or email name and email forms to go in there. So our page, you see, it's very similar. We're using a nice big background image. We chose a different color. We've inspired, we're inspired by the free trial page from Shopify. And that's what we've kind of tried to produce something similar to. Now, if you want to watch the full video, it's further down this page where we show you how we build this exact page inside Optimize Press. And then below that, there's also a rough guide you can follow with all the screenshots and things that actually walk you through the steps that we've taken to create the page that you see here. So as always, thanks very much for your feedback from our teardown video, or the first teardown video we've done. We look forward to doing more. Below this video, like I say, is the full complete teardown and the rough guide. And any questions whatsoever, jump in the comments. We'd love to hear all your stories, your feedback, and anything that you have done and built with Optimize Press.